Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. It is my own original design and it is called the climbing bracelet simply because these rubber bands here they look like they are trying to climb on top of one another and that is my reasoning for naming this bracelet the name it is <laughs> so here is a little segment that I made and here is another one that I just made so I can remember what, how I made it just before before I made my tutorial because I went to make sure I knew how to make it so now that you know what you will be making for in this tutorial or now that you know what I'm going to be making I don't know if you're going to be making it but if you're going to be making it now you know what you will be making and I'm going to show you what you need so for this bracelet you will need your loom and you will just need three pegs on your loom and it is recommended that you have space in the bottom of your loom to make to make this and if you do not have spaces in the bottom like this loom here it has this plastic that means you're just going to have to pull this bracelet out to the side so you can actually still make this bracelet but instead of pulling it the bracelet down through the bottom of your loom you're going to be pull it out to the side so I'm going to definitely be using this loom because I want to show you what it looks like when it's coming out through the bottom and it will look the same when it's coming out to the side but since most people will probably have one that comes out through the bottom that's how I'm going to be doing it and not only will you need your loom but you will of course need your hook and it does not matter what hook you have you can use any hook for this bracelet I'm just going to be using my new rainbow loom metal tip hook because I like it and I want to use it so I'm going to put that there. And you will also need an S, C, or O clip. Oop, drop my S clip. Here is the S clip. It is obviously shaped like an S. And I will and I will also be using this in my tutorial. Because that is what I usually use for bracelets. Here is a C clip. It is obviously shaped like a C or a heart if you hold it this way. And also here is an O clip. It is obviously shaped like an O or an oval. It's shaped like an O. And not only will you need clips and looms and all that, you're obviously going to need rubber bands to actually make your bracelet. I would recommend using only three colors for your first bracelet. Don't do rainbow colors yet until you get the idea of how you loom this and place rubber bands because it's a little confusing at first and I'm going to have a hard time explaining it but we'll get through our first bracelets together. So anyway, I'm going to be using three colors for this tutorial, obviously. I'm going to be using these tie-dye rubber bands, which are yellow and green. I'm going to be using these dark green rubber bands. And these purple rubber bands. Now we, you know what you will need, we can begin making our bracelets. So for it, when you go to make your bracelet, let me move the camera really quick. So, now we can actually start. But, when you make your bracelet, the arrow on your loom will be pointing towards you the whole time you're making it. So, you won't need to turn your loom or anything. And I won't have the reference arrow on the screen because it's going to be pointing the same direction the whole time. Also, you will just need three pegs on your loom. I'm going to be using one, two, one, two, and three right here. It does not matter what three pegs you use. You could use these three at the end here if you wanted. Probably not recommended at all. 
but you can use any three pegs on your loom as long as they form a triangle shape. Now, we can begin to place rubber bands. I'm going to be placing the first rubber bands, which are the cap bands. And I'm going to be making them a different color, so that's why they are brown. And you are going to need one for the beginning and one for the end, so I'm going to put this other one to the side. And what you're going to do with this rubber band is you're going to twist it so that it kind of twists around all three pegs. So to do this, you're going to twist, you're going to place this rubber band going across the two right pegs, so the bottom right and the top right. And you're going to place it so that it forms an 8 going across your loom. Then you're going to grab one side of the 8 and you're going to twist the rubber band again so that it twists or wraps around this other peg. Now you should get this shape here. Now you can get this shape only pointing a different direction. As long as you get this shape here, then you are making your bracelet correctly. Or your capping band, I guess. And so you're going to want the rubber band to be wrapping around all the pegs. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this end that isn't wrapping around a, a peg and you're going to twist it like an eight so that it does. And you should get this triangle shape when you finish twisting and placing and stuff. So now that you have that placed and everything, you're now going to get your first and second colors. My first color is going to be my tie-dye rubber bands, which are right here. And my second color is going to be these dark green rubber bands here. Also have your hook ready because you will be looming after you place these rubber bands. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to get your first color, which mine is this tie-dye, and you're going to place it going across this middle peg and this top right peg here. So there you go, like that. Then you're going to get your second color and you're going to place it, goodness, going across the top right and the bottom right pegs. And now what you're going to do is you're now going to get your hook and you're going to go ahead and loom all the bottom rubber bands onto the top rubber bands that you just placed. And so now you should get this twisted. So the rubber band should just, ugh, the hook's in the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, this capping band should be all twisted on top of the rubber bands you just placed. So that that's there. Anyway, now what you're going to do is you're going to get your third color and you're going to stretch it going across the bottom right peg and the middle peg. Once you've placed that rubber band, you're going to loom the two rubber bands that are below it. Yes, you're going to loom the rubber bands underneath of it. So you're going to loom the rubber band on this middle peg that's underneath your third rubber band. And you're also going to loom this rubber band on your bottom right peg that is also beneath this purple here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come to this top right peg here and this is pretty much for only the first rubber band you're, you're placing it and this is just the beginning. This is, the, yeah, this is just the beginning. But anyway, you're going to come to this top right peg and you're going to loom the bottom rubber band. The patterns for everything else is going to be different. But that's just for your first rubber bands that you have to loom. And yeah. So anyway, now as you can see, my first color is no longer on any pegs. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my first color, another rubber band, and I'm going to stretch it across the two pegs that my first color was on. So this middle peg and this top right peg. And then once I place that, I'm going to loom the two rubber bands that are beneath of it. So I'm going to loom this rubber band that is underneath this, my first color rubber band on this top right peg. And the same for this middle peg. I'm going to loom the rubber band that is underneath my first color rubber band. Now as you can see, my second color is no longer on any pegs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I did with my first color. I'm going to stretch it going across the top right and bottom right pegs where it was originally. And I'm going to loom the two rubber bands that are below it. So I'm going to loom the rubber band on the top left, right, not left. And also the rubber band underneath on the bottom right, just like you, I just showed you. So I'm going to turn this at a little angle so you can see a little better. And as you can see, this looks like a mess right here. It is a mess. So what you can do is just go ahead and pull it down through the bottom. And it's still probably going to be a little messy. But just as long as you don't grab any of the rubber bands and accidentally loom them, you should be fine. So anyway, we're going to continue the process of placing and looming. As you can see, my third color is no longer on any of the pegs at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my third color and I'm going to stretch it going across the two pegs it, my first third color rubber band was placed. So across this bottom right and this middle peg. And I'm going to do what I did for the other rubber bands. I'm going to loom the rubber bands below it on top of it. So the rubber band that was under it here, and the same here. Now my first color is no longer on any pegs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it, going across, place another rubber band, that's my first color, and place it going from this middle peg to this top right peg, and loom the rubber bands below it. And as you can see, it's starting to be a become a pattern. Let me pull this down through the bottom of my loom real quick. It's You're starting, hopefully, to realize that there is a pattern. Whenever a certain color rubber band is no longer on any pegs, you, you will replace it with another rubber band. And you will loom those rubber bands below the one you just placed on top of it. So... Let me go through this cycle and then I'll show you the cycle again. So as you can see, my second color is no longer on any pegs at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my rubber band that is my second color and stretch it going across the bottom right and top right pegs. Then I'm going to take my hook and loom the rubber bands below it on top of it. And now, as you can see, it's getting mess again. I do not have my third color on any of my pegs, so I'm going to get my th another rubber band for my third color. So that is my third color, and stretch it going across the middle and bottom right pegs. Oh, I should use my left hand because that's what I usually use. Here we go. And once you place that rubber band, you're going to loom the rubber bands below it. Alright, so now that I've completed that cycle of from the first to the third rubber band, I'm going to do the cycle again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my first color, and I'm just going to show you this one more time, so pay attention. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I'm not kidding, at the same time. Well, anyway, you're going to do the same thing you've been doing, is you're going to place your first color rubber band going across the middle and top right pegs, because it is no longer on any of those two pegs. 
or any pegs at all. And you're going to loom the rubber bands below it on top of it. And you're going to do the same thing with your second color because now your second color is no longer on any pegs at all. So you're just going to place it going across the two right pegs, the top right and the bottom right. And you will get your hook and loom the rubber bands below it. And now my third color is no longer on any, any pegs. And I'm just going to get another one and place it going across the bottom right and middle peg. And then loom the bottom rubber bands or the rubber bands below it on top of it. And as you can see, I do not have my first color anymore. So now I've completed this cycle. I'm going to continue this bracelet until it is long enough for my wrist, and that is what you will be doing. You will continue this cycle until it the bracelet is long enough for your wrist. And here is how long it is now. So as you can see, the shape is forming. It's not really easy to show you. But I'm going to continue now, and I'm going to fast forward this video so that it's not me 20 minutes sitting here looming and placing and that gets pretty boring when it's slow when it's fast it's, it's fast so now i'm just going to continue making my bracelet i will see you when i finish feel free to use the pause button because no one is stopping you unless someone is stopping you so anyway i'm just going to fast forward use the pause button if you need to and I'll see you when you finish. Alright, so I just checked my bracelet length and it is long enough to fit around my wrist. And that pretty much took me like mm, 6 to 5 minutes, 5-6 five, minutes. It'll probably take you a little longer, but hey, however long it takes you, it's no, nothing. Your life won't be affected in any way, unless if you fail the bracelet and then you're mad and then your life is changed forever. But, you know, if you fail, you can always start over because these things only take like 10, 20 minutes. Now I'm going to show you how to finish off this bracelet and put a clip on and finish it and be like, yay, I have my bracelet. So, yeah. Anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to get another rubber band, which will be your capping band. And it also does not matter what rubber bands are left on your pegs after your last latest pre- it does not matter what rubber bands the pattern the rubber bands are on. But I usually end 
with my rubber bands with my second and third color on there but you can have your first and second or your first and third or whatever but what in anyway you're just going to get your capping bands and what you're going to do is you're going to do something similar to what you did to your first capping band only you're just going to stretch it across three pegs you're not going to twist it at all so that's all you're going to do for that and then you're just going to loom all the rubber bands below your other capping band on top of the rubber band you just placed or your capping band and now what you're going to do is you're going to get all of the rubber bands on or all of the rubber bands on the three different pegs onto one peg and we're going to be I'm going to be putting it all on this top right peg so to do this you're going to grab the rubber band in the middle on the middle row peg you know the middle peg first and you're just going to put it on the peg you wish to put all of your rubber bands on and then you will grab the other rubber band that you didn't grab and you'll hold down this bracelet so that you can stretch it over your finger ouch and get it onto this peg also then you're going to get your bracelet and pull these rubber bands back a little bit so you can get your clip and you can put it going you can put it on the stretched cap rubber band and now you have your capping your capping band on one clip now you will get your capping band on the other side onto your clip as well this might be a little tricky but it's not impossible at all As you can see, it looks kind of like a flower at the end, or clover, or something. And there's this rubber band going through it. Ignore that. What you're going to do is you're just going to hold two sides of, or two of these little circles here, so that they don't move. And you're going to grab one side, or one little circle, and you're going to put it on a peg. Then you can let go of these circles. Then you're going to grab another you're going to grab one of the two circles that are left on your that aren't on a peg and the other one you're going to go ahead and also wrap around onto this peg also and then this last one will be the most difficult but it is possible to get it onto this peg as well and so now all three parts of the rubber band are on your peg and then you can put your clip onto the other end of the rubber bands. Make sure you kind of stretch them out a little bit so you can get them on easily. And then you can pull that off the peg. And you have your bracelet. And as you can see, it's a little small, but it's, it's very stretchy. It'll stretch out a lot, or quite a bit compared to some bracelets. And it also depends on what rubber bands you use. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and now as you can see my bracelet is complete and I am now modeling it for you oh pretty <laughs> but anyway now you have your climbing bracelet and you can show it off to all your friends if you were able to make it successfully I really hope you were able to I do apologize if my explaining was a little weird for you so if this tutorial wasn't very well worded, or maybe you want to see this bracelet being made on the left side of your loom. Oh, I can't see the bracelet because I have it too low. Let me move the camera. So if you do want to see this bracelet be made on the left side, it's very similar to making it on the right side, only on the left side. But if you do wish to see that, I will have a link to that video if it is up by the time you watch it. I will have a link to that video in the description and also the music I used for this tutorial it will also be in the description because that's where I put stuff and it'll also be in the credits that will be appearing in a few seconds after I say thanks for watching and bye